has to be brought up on a regular basis on this show. <laughs> well, right. yeah, you should. You know, Have you met us? <laughs> you know, you know what, knows, what pisses you off makes us laugh? That's just yeah, horrible. Yeah. That makes us just bad people. Friends like these is what Who they needs say. Exactly. We know. Exactly. We know. That's why it's hilarious. Precisely. <laughs> we're, we're rolling, y'all. Yeah. We are? Yes. We oh. Are. Yeah, we got we got a good Nelly joke in first. Oh, okay, gotcha. Right <laughs> it on. wasn't that good. No, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't that good. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, put a little bit more thought into it. It wasn't been tight. It's been a good joke. I mean, if people to put more thought into his raps. <laughs> now we're. Are you another chap at Nelly? Come on, this is the same dude that did um, memorable songs like "Hot in Her." I think he uh, uh, does. Wait, I'm not finished. Uh, <laughs> you grills. Should, you should be finished. Um, and um, other magical hits. <laughs> Nelly's finished. Good Lord. Nelly's finished. Is he? Wait, he's yeah. Good Yo, real finished. quick though. Finished. I'm sorry. Real quick. Um, there was a chinky sighting. A chinky sighting. <laughs> a chinky sighting. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. You got you yeah, one yeah, letter. Yeah. You one got, letter short really of making a mistake. G, boy. <laughs> chinky. Are, oh, we certainly yeah, have yeah. an Asian fan base. Yeah. Sorry. You got to hold that G, boy. Get that Gordon Liu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ching Gi. <laughs> Siding in Vegas. Oh, okay. He actually, he was performing at some club, like one, uh, one of my friends on Facebook was at a club and he was performing. And I was like this. Oh, that's cool. There he is. Okay. Right. I like this. All right, cool. Okay, Right, right. there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> did I watch the whole video? No, I just like this. Oh, he's alive. Okay. And then just yeah. went on by my life. <laughs> Good for Ching man. Because nobody cared. I didn't yeah. care. Uh, just, yeah. By the way, you guys, you're rocking with Rockin' With Rap Sucks Radio. We are now live and direct, man. Thank y'all for hanging in there with us. Officially episode 11. That's right. Double digits. Word. Double digits. We out here doing it. You know what I'm saying? It's a real wow. thing. Um, I am your homeboy, Track Life, and that's your folks, Kev Sakota. What's up? And also on the microphone with us, Mr. Shug. Hello, Yay. everybody. <laughs> and we're going to do the opening question. But you know what, Kev? I'm going to spare you this week. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Since Suge's I here, Suge's, Suge's going to get the opening Oh, nice. I don't, okay, I'm just going to say, look. All right. Um, Immunity. A. <laughs> Suge. Are the same multiple choice? No. My bad. Um, so in high school, one time, me, you, and the homie L Bug rolled up to Walnut to see some chicks, right? <laughs> and... <laughs> Since L didn't have no money, but I <laughs> and I asked you to borrow some money, you didn't let me borrow money to get bus, bus fare back. So me and L had to walk while you took the bus. Did you ever plan on apologizing to me for that, or are you just gonna let that roll? <laughs> um, <laughs> hold on, let me think about that real quick. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. I like you know. Um, as I think about it now, though, Trek Life. Hold on, this is has, hold on, hold on. This is this gonna be this gonna be this gonna be a good one. Um, Trek Life got the name Trek Life. Because he walks everywhere, he loves to walk. So oh, you were so supporting now, the brand. Yes. So I go. didn't even know I was I was creating Trek Life even then in 1994. I'm already so tired do, of you. So do, out, do, wait. What up, y'all? It's cousin Ant. When I'm out here in the streets, staying photos down. You can find me listening to Trek and Kev on Rap Sucks Radio. Yo, you alive, you're rocking live at Rap Sucks Radio on RapsucksRadio.com. You can catch us on iTunes. If you if, matter of fact, if you're listening, you probably know all this. <laughs> you probably have That's, done some yeah. research actually. But you can tell a friend and you know they can tell a friend. Your boy Track Life, Fam Caps Dakota, your homeboy Mr. Shug, and we are about to jump into the usual out here tripping. Who is out here tripping? Who's out here tripping? Um Brian Colfidge. If you haven't heard of that person before, you will know who they are soon. Is out here tripping. Um, the reason why is a he is this actually the first part of this is not the reason because that would suck to say that this. No, well, it's good that because because I saw you put that down. We should acknowledge it yeah. because it's it's a you know it's yeah, a it's good just, good way to start out. Yeah, it's a good way to yeah. acknowledge. So yeah. so I'm gonna read why he's out here tripping, but it also explains who he is and then we'll kind of acknowledge who he is first mm-hmm. and then we'll go into the fact that he's tripping. He is a triple amputee Air Force veteran and motivational speaker who is asking the 63, asking the 63 million Americans who voted for President Donald Trump to chip in $80 a piece for a border wall. He actually reached part of that. He was looking to get like 
$5 billion or $2.5 billion. He wanted to get half the, the necessary amount. Gotcha. And uh, ended with ended at $20 million. So where we do want to say shout out to Brian Kofitz for his services to the country. Uh, this wall thing, you, you out here are tripping. So there is some extra information. The wall has started. He got his $20 million. <laughs> wall started in Sunland Park, Mex- New Mexico. Right. And he received a cease and desist because they did not complete the paperwork. <laughs> Pro- properly. <laughs> properly. All right. To build the wall. And also the size of the wall might be out of the permission zone for some. <laughs> right. Because the, the limit on the size of a wall you can put up is six feet tall. Right. Right. And, and what do you want? I, did he want it seven, eight feet? <laughs> Seven, eight. Eight. Put it, put it, yeah, that's, I think that's actually being real kind. The border wall is something like 20 feet or 15 feet you know, high seven, or whatever. Eight, ten, six so, feet. Yeah, he, they, they're falling way short. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're, they're pretty – Yeah, I, I think you're over the limit here, Brian. And they're trying to make it a political thing as though like Sunland, New Mexico. But, man, listen, uh, you filled out your GoFundMe perfectly, fam. You can't fill out your paperwork. <laughs> I'm, saying. I'm just trying to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty um, sad. I mean, yeah, when I looked at it today, they and they're at uh, GoFundMe.com slash the Trump Wall. Oh, it is. Oh. The doesn't Trump say wall. It, it doesn't say the Trump Wall that Mexican Mexico is going to pay for. Right, it's well, just well, the Trump Wall. Right, exactly. Which is odd, right? If you were a voter, if you voted for or for forty five, right, you're not upset that you put in eighty dollars each. I don't, and that's the, well, that's another thing I was looking at is that the average, it looks like there's a lot of people that are giving 20, 25 bucks or whatever. It's like, hey, you know, get your name up on there and you're supporting and something you believe in. That's cool. But you've got to know that it's, you're nowhere close. No. Yeah. So 20 million, you needed what, five yeah. point something they, billion they, dollars? This is what, like 2% of the, the goal, <laughs> which isn't even the total amount of money it's going to take. The border, the southern border is approaching 2,000 miles, right? Right. So that's that's like thirty miles maybe of six foot tall wall. <laughs> if you did your permitting right. Right. It's like homie, you're you know, we could we're just gonna go ahead and as 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 Trump says, we're gonna take a right <laughs> and go right around that wall. <laughs> For real, like yeah. <laughs> It's okay. gonna be funny. I want to see the graph if of any parts of the wall that actually are built. I just got to see how ill the graph artists get on it. I think uh, I think that's gonna be the dope part. Oh, there was there was an installation somewhere where there's like this yeah. huge baby yep. looking over the wall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was dope. It was a French artist that did that. Too. Oh, right, right, right. Yep. No, that's tight. That's dope. Speaking of the wall, though, yeah. we, uh, man, this dude, yo, what? Trump, man, with the five oh, yeah. percent, <laughs> the five percent tariff on all Mexican goods. All uh, goods coming in from Mexico, right? Until the um, migration of immigrants coming from Honduras and uh, countries south of Mexico, mm-hmm. um, crossing through Mexico and coming into the U.S. stops entirely. That right. is the thing, and he's the plan is not only for this five percent tariff on overall goods from Mexico, uh-huh. everything. It's supposed to go up five percent roughly every month or every three months. And it'll cap out at 25%, right, mm. until the immigration of southern uh, countries through Mexico. The plan is immaculate. Uh, because it's, he's, gonna, he's going to hurt his own people, us. God, it hurts to say it. He's going to hurt the Mexican people, the Mexican government. Right. Because they're not stopping the Central American people who are from other countries – even though they all look the same to him, I'm doing stuff. That's like Canada putting tariffs on our goods because we can't stop Drake from doing corny shit. <laughs> like, come on, man. That that is as much your problem as it is ours. We will take some credit for it. Well, he's he's uh, said that he would stop uh, sending aid to places like Honduras or Central American countries that um, that have large migrations of immigrants from. Their country through Mexico, but he—he he no, is horrible. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's just a horrible. It's, <laughs> he sucks badly. And also, a lot of the, you know, we can all turn into armchair, you know, foreign relations experts and all that stuff. But, but we're not sending aid to any country. This is not charity. We're doing it because because right. of because of the interest that it supports. At the end of the day, true. Like what is what does a live say? 
It's all about the money. Right? Well, but here's the other thing. Even though we're not going to be armchair <laughs> foreign relations people, the uh, Rufus Yerksa, if I'm saying that correctly, the president of the National Foreign Trade Council, which represents the nation's largest exporters, called the move a colossal blunder. So even if we're not like people who are experts in this type of thing, are like, dude, what are you doing? You know right. what I'm saying? So it's 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 just hard to kind of figure out. So there's a lot of data on, and this is kind of one of the things where Rap Sucks Radio goes a little, I guess, deeper than at least my knowledge base here. But there's a lot of evidence that that immigration is actually decreasing by percentage. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's sort of like the the thing I've always kind of thought, and and this is what I've thought this since I was like, in like high school, is like. If you were going to provide a kind of a, a, a if you were going to drain a bordering country of almost all of its resources in a sense, whether it's human resources or or you know whatever type of resources, you were going to cause this problem. The right. more that you sort of support some form of relation on the bordering side, because Mexico is, you know, it gets super rich as you get towards central Mexico. There's mm. a lot of money in Mexico. Yeah. So the bordering countries are the ones that kind of have more of the problem. So it's sort of like, are you going to continue this back and forth where, where people on one side of the line or the other need to go over there? Like, or are you going to say, look, man, the best way to fix this problem is for us to say, okay, well, we got businesses on this side. There's businesses on that side. Why don't we figure out a way to have some sort of, you know, continuous work visa issue or or things of that nature. I just feel like there are better ways to go about it that actually benefit both sides of the But point. there, you know, things that are sensible aren't always aren't always uh, exciting to to uh scared white folks. You know, and and he excites them. Mm-hmm. And and so there's a couple of things. One, by all accounts, he doesn't know how tariffs work. It's just something that he can do right. on his own without having to have anybody approve it, right? So it's something that he can do and just say, "I'm doing this," and it sounds strong to to, to his his supporters. supporters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that you know with the with the aid packages and all that stuff, if you if just look at a a map, look at a globe, go to your child's classroom and look at the globe. If somebody walked from the southernmost uh, tip of of Mexico, you know, yeah. which by the way is where a lot of these folks are coming from and beyond right. and walk all the way through Mexico to get here. That's like, that's like us walking from here up to Canada. It's, it's, it's actually <laughs> further, right? Right. We won't even like, I know I wouldn't even want to move to the IE <laughs> to avoid problems. <laughs> you know, so, so if you just put yourself in the mind state of this, this is how bad things are. And a lot of the aid that we send also is by, the sense I get is it's it's to to stabilize those governments so that they they can you know gives them the breathing room to not have to somehow feel like they have to treat their people in 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 a way that it, that actually is right terrible in, in you know terrible, yeah. right you know which obviously somebody's treating them bad it's either it's the you know it's it's, well, it, it's it just comes cartels to, or it's yeah. or it's the government or both or whatever you know and, and and but then you you're overthrowing rulers and very you know you in the, in the 80s you went through this thing where you just start overthrowing folks just for the sake of overthrowing them you know what i'm saying oh yeah um you you know creating these these uh power vacuums that that now are starting to come home to roost you know what i'm saying and so it's it's not first of all let, let's just i mean look immigration is not the biggest problem in this country like let, let's just just Knock it off, okay? The the reason why you may or may not have enough money by your standard is not because some dude took a low-level job, probably not even with proper paperwork because folks want to pay less money than they're supposed to. Right. So let's keep it real. You know what I'm saying? That is not the reason. Your healthcare issue has little to nothing, the tiniest bit or a small percentage to do with immigration. So like the whole story that this is the biggest threat. It's a an actual national threat, national emergency. National emergency. It's right. nonsense. It's complete nonsense. And you, if you want to pour in a country that has several different issues, education being too expensive, people being in 40000 40, and I'm being nice, $40,000 in debt just walking out of the door with a, with a degree, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, all of these issues, your healthcare issues, your pharmaceutical company issues, your opioid crisis, none of this has anything to do with a dude that comes across the border to 
freaking sweep in a factory That's with right. less than exactly. minimum wage. Yeah. So like, don't do this. And then you know the only time he brings it up is when, if I was if I was a refugee from Central America, I would make sure that I knew whenever Mueller was about to say anything or do anything or anyone was gonna gonna get <laughs> actually get at Trump <laughs> with not some some you know soft ass Democrat liberal you know right. nonsense. That, you know, because because as soon as Mueller spoke, that's when you know. Yeah, that's when it turned up. That's when he yeah. hit Twitter. Like this, is what we about to do? Slide By the way, through. I know we're not going to talk about Mueller, but Mueller. The one thing I would well, we say can. about Mueller is is um, <laughs> I, I realized that who he is, who he was, or who he has become to me is the um, the dude in your office who writes the long ass emails and is like, well, if you would have just read my goddamn email, <laughs> you would know. And the rest of us are like Dwight Schrute from the office. Yeah. We all exist. That's the rest of us. Yeah. I, well, I read the email, Mueller, and I, <laughs> I, um, I read a, at least most of it as much as I could actually tolerate. And like I said, I, I think that I could make an argument on each side. If I was, if I was a you know red blooded Heartland American that that had a MAGA hat, I could say this proves nothing. Um, but I would also have to go. God, that's a lot of smoke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Somebody did something. That's basically what Mueller's saying. He's he's really kind of saying, look, dude, somebody did something. And somebody that mm -hmm. we're talking to every day knows what somebody did. And uh I can't I can't go after your boy the way that, you know, the way that we should based on his, you know, status in the country. Yeah. But if I could, I'd shake you out. Right? Yeah, this is you definitely there's definitely enough going on to where the teacher would say I don't care who did it. You're all staying after class. <laughs> right? I mean, no, bottom line. Well. Yeah, not bottom line. Well. Bottom line. Um, wow. Oh, yeah. Bottom line is a terrible segue into this. R. Kelly. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, this, I know you might, sure you uh, might enjoy this one. <laughs> man. Um, <laughs> really? Uh, why would I enjoy it? Wait, well, no. just to talk trash about R. Oh, Kelly. Okay, yeah, okay, the really. Kelphabet. The Kelphabet. <laughs> Well, R. Kelly is the R in the alphabet. KK is oh, okay. the K in the alphabet. And remember, we moved Kodak Black to the B mm. in the alphabet for the you know, other. So, Bill, uh, so, Bill, so uh, Bobby. I like to call R. Kelly Bobby. Because it just a Bobby. What Bobby do? What Bobby? 11 mo counts of sexual assault and sexual abuse related charges. Allegedly, <sighs> he's facing 11 more counts per Megan Krupo of the. Chicago Tribune, she's a reporter that covers the criminal courts. Via her Twitter, she said that these are class X sexual assault charges. They are far more serious than other pending cases he faces. That's the most serious class of felony in Illinois short of murder. And it, it is 6 to 30 years mandatory. Jesus so, what is class so, X? How, is there a class A through... Yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, uh, really so I, I, so I, what he I did was How like, does that work? Off the chain. I mean... Did he when he peed on the girl? Did the pee was so strong that it shot hit a, hit her ricocheted hit like two three other um, underage women in there? I'm just trying to understand. Yeah, he put eleven on the board. I mean, eleven quick, more. I mean, 11 on the board. he the Steph Curry in the of <laughs> in the fourth. He the Steph. He the Steph Curry of peeing on women. Late in the fourth. Late in the fourth. One minute left Man. on the clock. He threw eleven up on the board. Bobby, like his, I can do. I know I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This but eleven mold charges. You shouldn't even have been in the game. You're not. It's not like you're in the fourth, and you're down yeah. by twelve, and you put eleven up. Come on, Bobby, take a knee. Yeah, like, dude, you were <laughs> down by sixty points in the fourth. You shouldn't even been off the bench. Mm. Yeah, but he like this. Coach, put me in the game so I could lose more. I know he at home sweating like, man. How they find out about that? Well, to be his lawyer said like, dude, yo, this is much to do about nothing. It, it was not uh, any new charges, and he's uh, recharged in the existing case, and it's the same alleged victim in time and it's a decade ago and it changes nothing that this R. Kelly's lawyer um, Steve Greenberg I thought said, that said Steve Gutenberg I was like wow that's wow, uh, he's, he that's switched a... up the game <laughs> <laughs> okay all right Gutenberg wow. no, no, okay. I love right. the references so, on this show so Green, Br Greenberg yeah Steve Greenberg his lawyer said that no nah, this is nothing this is nothing so it's, it's kind of like I guess what is your lawyer supposed to say yeah I mean, I, it's like it's like the same charges just being it's like the remix. Yeah, that's why. No, I, yeah, I did it. Yeah, <laughs> my, I did without doing it. My bad. I, I see what, I see what bad. you're doing over there, yo. man. No. The remix to the charges, yo. The Ooh, charges have been remixed. That should be the tagline. 
<laughs> it's the remix of these charges, <laughs> and they're gonna put it in here. If he go to jail, <laughs> ooh, I'm just man. If oh, it, he I, go I, to jail. It, it, it's just he will go, and he'll be there for a minute, for a good minute. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's, but it's, but it's, he's but about to say he's about to say eleven. I couldn't count. I don't know how to count <laughs> for real. Oh, eleven more? I don't, the, I don't know how to count. Charlie. I can't count. But the problem is. <laughs> It's like it's gonna take him a while to go to jail. That's it. That's it. This is prolonging it. This is being prolonged. Let me let me let me throw this out there about the can't read part of this. Right. Right. So you couldn't read IDs, homie. Like the number on the ID. Like that. That's. Do you have an ID? Oh, is that yeah. what he was? I thought he no, said. No, I know. I oh, know. Yeah. That's that's not. What I'm, but I'm, what I'm trying to say is, so you couldn't read an ID. Like, come on, fam. Or or better yet, see the girl rolling up on a scooter. <laughs> Right, she me, got you tell dropped it, off you, by uh, her auntie, homie. Yeah. You knew she was a child. She was pushing a power wheel. <laughs> and he was like, "Baby girl is fine." It's like, what are you on doing? a power wheel, Bobby? There are people defending this dude though, and I put it as the oh, oh hey, yeah. Uh, look, do me a favor, lean in close. For anybody <laughs> who is defending R. Kelly, put your right ear here. right next to the. Hey, get, lean the in close. I know you don't like me, and it's all good. I'm, I'm a be I'm a bi. Right, so you know how you you know get all your feelings, get comfortable when you feel. Get your, your R. Kelly ASMR about to. It's about to happen. Yeah, just <laughs> for real. Lean in. I want you to dislike me to the point where it's like a warm blanket for you. Get comfortable. <laughs> Stop bringing up Harvey Weinstein whenever someone that you like assaults somebody and gets in trouble for it. Yo, that is Knock that, it off. Yo, high five. I don't care they see it. High five. Yo, because they do that shit way too much. They be like this. Well, Harvey got away with who said Harvey he got away, got away, got away with, with nothing? Shit, with nothing. And they like, but he got to pay the like, yeah, he got to pay this. It was a similar situation to Bill Cosby. The only difference is Harvey had to pay up and Bill's charges were dropped. The real ones have yet to be faced. So if you want to throw Harvey Weinstein, who was not a front of the camera person to begin with, you idiots. <laughs> That's that's the thing. Stop. There's just no just stop. At, at least read about Harvey Weinstein's kid. Well, I gotta Google what Harvey Weinstein doing, but what R. Kelly You are on a <laughs> Chicago Tribune reporter's Twitter. That is way deeper than Google. Like knock it off. What's wrong with your life? Get a perm. Do something better. With your life right now, do some. Go to the hair salon. Talk about something else. Watch uh, Desperate Housewives. What, is that still on? No. Nah. Do something else. <laughs> like, look, with no. your day. You know what I mean? I no, mean, don't get I a mean, perm though. By the way, or yeah. whatever. Like, no, get a perm. Get, get a perm. Get a perm. But maybe not. Lock your hair. Get a perm. Get yeah. a relaxer. Get some box braids. Yeah. Do something else with your life. But stop bringing up Harvey Weinstein whenever R. Kelly gets in trouble. And and they bring. But see, the problem is though with my black people. I love y'all. Whenever. An artist, an African American artist, is charged with something like, "Well, what about so and so? He's white. Like, so what? Wrong is wrong. It don't matter what color the person is." And you just now, I will say this though about uh, Michael Jackson. I heard shit about Michael Jackson. <laughs> wait, wait. Let me just say this. I heard shit about Mike. <laughs> yeah, I'm on the roll today. Um, I heard shit about Mike after the documentary, right? And it was like this. You know, they started taking down. I think one school. Um, took down Michael Jackson's name off the auditorium, something yeah, like that. Yeah, Oprah, yep. Oprah dropped it like it's hot. Yep, and then um, you right. know people, then they started bringing up um, Elvis, right? Presley, and I hate the, no, I hate, no, I hate the, uh, no, but this the was story. A, let me tell you, the but Elvis, wait, but the, but the, the story, thing about Elvis though. though, but the thing about Elvis though, Elvis liked underage girls. No. Back then, yeah, he did. No, listen, let's backtrack. Okay, backtrack. He didn't sleep with Priscilla Presley until they got married. They only laid in the same <laughs> bed together. <laughs> Elvis Presley didn't do anything, <laughs> and we believe that. Yeah. Get your <laughs> cornball <laughs> goof nut. And Kev said, Kev just said something I think is very important. You know what I'm saying? Kev said that Oprah dropped Michael Jackson's name off like it was hot. Right? Right. Is it like you drop those African girls into school without monitoring what went on in those schools? I'm... Only for those girls, those young ladies to get their asses beat by the teachers because your punk ass didn't really know what was going on, Oprah? So which dropping are we doing? Where's Stedman at? 
Um, you know what I'm saying? If, if anybody, Bring Stedman. If anybody, Bring, get, get Stedman in here for some clarity. I got to talk to light skin Stedman. You know what I mean? So what we're saying is, are Kelly going to fry? Stop, I, I bring, stop, bring, stop bringing up other celebrities. I think celebrities. Harvey Weinstein goes down too. I don't yep, think Harvey Weinstein. I don't think he's about to kick it. Like yeah. they, they finna take these. They finna take yeah. this yeah. Cosby. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So stop bringing up. Um, well, so and so and so and so. Shut, shut that's your ass. That's just the ongoing. Just that's what ass. everyone, everyone. You know, if you don't have, if that's the best argument you have, stop typing. Right, right. Because you're not really defending the. You've lost your your. You've lost your mm. defense at that point. Especially messing with me, because I'm going to just be like, look, this is the information. Like, I ain't really going to go at you about, I mean, it, it, I'm just saying, whatever, man, I'm done with that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's a goofy thing, and I just wish y'all were less goofy. You know what I mean? Right. Stop being goofy. Stop being goofy. Y'all out here looking like, like, like actual character goofy, like, for real. Like people that want to change the <laughs> last season of Game of thing. Thrones. Don't be like that. <laughs> Don't be like that. Uh, and and ah oh, man shit I got so much go ahead so much. I'm leaving alone okay next Ooh, one Let's you go. know what we finna get into oh, what's next I love it Mount but nope. nah 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 that is yeah. the that is the name of this I love that segment okay. <laughs> I love the but nah segment nah nah all right homie I feel you but uh but nah though. nah you know what I'm saying go all ahead, right try. let's go Mount Everest mm. would any of you first of all before I go into this have any of you ever in your lifetime Wanted to climb Mount Everest. Nope. Nope. Not no, at all. No. 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 Okay, cool. Me neither. No. No, shout out to anybody who's ever wanted to. Shout out to that's anybody cool. who's listening who that's has cool a desire too. to. Yeah, that's cool. I know one person that listens that she's a rock climber. Mm, okay. That's I think that's dope. She posts pictures and I'm like, wow, that looks like something I will Not never do. do. Right? Yes. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. But you know, I, I lived on 110th Hoover a part of my life. I've seen death. <laughs> I, I really don't need to challenge death over yeah. and over again once you... <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, it's cool. And, you know, I've actually seen death. And being African American, mm, that's not thrilling in it's, itself. It's that's not thrilling enough. It's, 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 thrilling. it's, it's thrilling enough. enough. Yeah, it's it's really not itself. just a job. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, uh, man, the ice is melting and bodies and old, old bodies and old bones are showing up on Mount Everest. People who die climbing. Because when you die on uh, Mount Everest, depending upon how high up you are, you ain't being brought back down. Uh, I know it's the, the the leave leave no man behind motto does <laughs> not happen. Yeah, here. Does not, not leave out there. The, the, the <laughs> Nepalese government is not uh, not going to be like, oh, we're going to go up yeah. there and get rage because like, he was up there. Trying. Like, is Freddie dead? Freddie's dead. Oh man. Well, <laughs> can you imagine? My cousin went up there, man. You know what happened? Well, he went up there, mm-hmm. but we don't mm-hmm. check whether they come back down. You know Did, what I'm saying? Didn't he owe you money? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> check not on anymore. the other side. Not anymore. <laughs> For real. So the reports are, though, that, that um, glaciers throughout the Himalayas are melting away. And on Everest, that means that the snow and the ice that were covering the bodies of dead hikers is vanishing, thus revealing the bones and the, the uh, dead uh, bodies of these, preserved bodies of these hikers. Now, yeah. they have made an effort to carry some people down, but it is a very dangerous thing to go up there and get them. Sure. It's a pretty big, kind of a big deal. Like, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how old some of these bones are because people have been climbing Mount Everest for years. So oh, it's, it's when, it's it's when climate yeah. science and privilege collide. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be privileged to climb Mount Everest? Well, I think, you know, because you, you have to train for that. It's like it's like training for a marathon, you know, it's and then it's a, yeah. the timing is so, the, the, the time of year when you can do it, uh, you know, because of the weather. Is, exactly. is a very small window, which is why they... Because t- I was like, why is there... They kept talking about traffic jam. So, right, right, right. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> right. What, you know? It's like, no, 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 no. Well, they have guides, right? To my understanding, they have guides that'll take you up. But I, I think that they... I'm assuming that they turn around at some point. Like, I right, look. You know what I mean? <laughs> we got to go back down and get the other group. So, right. you know what I'm saying? You and your cousin got to keep going. Um, There have been grave robbers, too, though. That they mentioned in the, in the, the future article, and mm. a, a couple other little things I kind of quick quick Google. Okay. That one of the issues also is where the bodies aren't being carried back down. There's like some grave robbing going on, and I mean I I'm like what does that mean? Just like, yeah. nice like watch. people kind of taking yeah, like people taking things, and I'm mm. thinking, oh, how recent are some of the things that you're taking? Like I mean, like oh I got a oh I found a uh, like, what kind of what did you take? I found a Walkman. Nobody went up there with a Movado or anything, right? Yeah. Like, uh-huh. And why would you wear it going up there? Yeah, so I'm trying so, to figure yeah, out so what I'm they're like, grave robbing. It doesn't make any sense to extra me. Extra boots? Right. Beanies? 
Come on, like really? Uh, this is dumb. Come on, fam, come back with the beanie come from back, 1920. Just, like, <laughs> look at this beanie. Get this from with the like fuzzy, the with the fuzzy ball at the t- <laughs> yeah, it's great. Oh Jesus, uh, Willie, come on. That's a crazy thing to do, but it's you know yeah. it's you know thrill seekers are thrill seekers. But uh, I wonder, uh, I wonder, I want to know the nationality of the ones that passed. Oh, white folks. I'm curious. We don't want to say it's all my, oh, that's my true. you know. I actually find but it. I doubt, we don't, I, but we don't, I doubt, we don't want. Doubt, we don't want to. But I doubt if there is a will. Lamar up there or a Cornisha or a Rita. I doubt, I doubt, it, doubt it seriously. I doubt. I Lamar doubt Odom can't smoke his way up. There. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know he's like one of my favorite players too. I talk so much trash about. Have him. we made y'all mad yet? <laughs> no, I hope not. I hope not, man. Um, but here's the better question. When I heard there was bones and dead bodies, I was like. So when the Night King died oh, on God. Game of Thrones, right? Mm. There were some dead people that were probably, you know, chilling or whatever. So is this like, are they, because they all died. They all fell over. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. So are these like the Night King people or am I just a little too goofy at this point? A little goofy. A little goofy. <laughs> you can not, punch yourself. If you punch yourself, we will not stop you at all. The way they talk about Everest, though, it sounds like like it jumped the shark. Like it's it was the hot club in the 90s. <laughs> And then they started letting all the meatheads in who couldn't follow the rules, and they just ruined it for everybody. But people are still doing it, though. I, mean, just, I, 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 think, I think so. right now they just no, there are def- there are definitely people who, you know, it's part of their life, their bucket list. You know what I mean? Like, so there's, I guess there are like seven notable peaks around the world or whatever, uh, uh, the peak on every continent, right? right they they right, try and do right, that. Right, right. Um, which, you know, that's about, that's roughly six and a half more mountains than I ever want to <laughs> Yeah, I don't Think know. About I, wait, isn't the tallest mountain in the world from? I, I I think it's in Hawaii, but I think it's from sea level to peak. Oh, okay. so you can't necessarily. That climb sounds it like a little bit of cheating. Right. Exactly. <laughs> 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 Okay, I tried right. to give props to the Hawaiians after I kind of, after I kind of shaded them last <laughs> last week. <laughs> oh, man. Fair enough, man. But um, yeah, I I but that's the but nah segment because it's like it, you know I know you want to climb Mount Everest, but nah, I'm not, no, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. I'm not yeah, that. Um, so yeah, sure. Can you do me a favor? Mm. Uh, can I get a damn nature you scary real quick? Damn nature you scary. <laughs> yeah, I needed that. Wait, let me say it right. Go ahead. Damn nature, you scary. Damn, Damn nature, you, you, you scary. scary. Excellent. Excellent. Terrible. Terrible. Excellent. Terrible. I think you have to be a white guy to do that. Right? I think it was a white guy. Wait, I, no, had it was to have been. Is it, was it a white dude? That, isn't it a white dude that played Cleveland Brown? Yes. I assume yeah, so. Yeah, it's a white dude. Yes. Right? Mm-hmm. From Maryland. Mm-hmm. Merlin. Merlin. Yes. Yeah, that's what that's uh, that's where the accent from. Odyssey <laughs> was Odyssey was so hype about that. He was like, I knew he was from Merlin. <laughs> I was like, yo, you were way too hype about that. Um all right, man, I gotta present this question to y'all okay. I, I I think you looked it up so you know the answer, so I'll present it to uh Suge. Go. Why are tigers orange? I have no idea. Kev? Well, I didn't get an answer though. That's the whole thing. I read, I read the, the link you sent. It's, it's just the, that's the thing. I'm reading this. I'm thinking it's not that deer or the or the the animals that tigers hunt see orange as green, even though that's sort of how they portrayed the article, right? Right. Uh, okay. It's just that they see everything as green. Well, no, 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 no. It's that. Or they, they only it, see certain certain colors. In there's the, only a certain spectrum. depth of color. So, so reds, tigers could be pink to them. No, well, it, they could be anything in the range of red to orange. So, oh, like, okay. red to orange appears as green. So, the answer to that is okay. that their prey um, can't see orange. So, oranges turn to green. Okay. So, when they're hunting in the jungle, they just blend. They in. just blend in, and mm. they can attack their prey. But humans have the ability to see. How many people have just tuned completely out at this point? I don't know. I think we still got. We still got. Hold on. Hold on. We got like four listeners hold left. On, hold, on, hold on. Y'all don't go nowhere. Hi. Y'all don't go nowhere. <laughs> Hello. How you people doing? Are like, Yo, Thanks show, for coming man. out. It was. It was good. The Canadians have all left. Like oh, we, <laughs> we had no. Listen, we listened last week. It was pretty Sorry. funny. Talk now about Drake. <laughs> go Raptors. Go Raptors. Um, Did we get y'all back? Um. So there's the thing like, that. But that's a, to me, that's a crazy thing that the human eye can only see can see a certain depth of color and extension, and the animal eye can see 
a certain depth of color and extension and right. it hasn't evolved for deer and whatever else they eat. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the most fun I, I, thought I can that the have head, with this segment. Yeah, I thought the headline, the headline should have just been tigers, tigers eat deer because deers are dumb. <laughs> well, deers are genetically. Deer, are genetically deers, a deer will walk in front of your car. Well, it's, it, now maybe the reason why is because they're seeing like green as it approaches them or something like that. <laughs> they're not seeing the actual Ooh. color. <laughs> no, I don't. I, okay. I think I've read that they are just stunned. That the light actually stuns them, mm-hmm. so they they have no. They pretty much have no reason. It's like skunks. Skunks get run over because skunks, throughout their entire existence, have don't have any flight. They don't run because they've never had to. Oh, because they so have they the actually just turn their back to your car like they're uh, about to spray that joint, mm. and, and, and then the tire be like, "Nah, I'm, right. it's not happening." And then your car smells for like six oh, weeks. That's and the don't worst. Ask me how I know. <laughs> skunks be taking L's on Shadow Oak, boy. Yo, yo, y'all skunks, y'all listening? <laughs> y'all done, son. <laughs> hey, one of the funniest stories I've ever heard was Anel talking about that raccoon that opened his door and like took a was like taking his lunch out of his car. <laughs> Shout out to my man Anel, y'all. My man left right, brain right, in the right. building. That's he got lunch right. jack. He got lunch right. jack by, a... by a raccoon, y'all. <laughs> What it is. So you better clean that up a little bit. That's uh, remotely racist. Lunch jack by raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Dang. Well, it that's like real. him. If he holds the G <laughs> on Chingy, we're all good. And if you hold the rack, <laughs> keep that. Hold the rack on raccoon. Raccoon. <laughs> But that's if you rush that rack, <laughs> <laughs> people might turn to the left and be like, yo, what's going on? Um, I do want to make sure that we do uh, shout out Alex Trebek. No doubt. I mean, I know he's listening. Phrase it as a question. Yeah, exactly. What is what is congratulations? Right. What is congratulations? What is the person that beat? Well, who is the person that beat cancer last week? That's right, Alex or whatever. Who, Alex Trebek. Who is Alex Trebek? Who is yes, Alex Trebek? So good looking. Good. good. That's dope, man. Good. That's yeah. really dope. Then he'll be back on Jeopardy, confusing me. Did y'all? When I was young, I used to watch Jeopardy and like know the answers. Because really? wow, yeah, because yeah. we were in yeah. school. Like the, a lot of this stuff was like some of the stuff we had talked about as. You know, Some of it was. But um, yeah, now I'm like, it's like, no. like this. Oh, it's hard. Yeah, it's what animal has a pimp on their back leg like this? Um, uh, no, don't even like this. What is the plus, 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 plus in South <laughs> Africa like this? <laughs> Correct. I'm like, I'm like this. Where the fuck that come from? Yeah. Like, I, mean, what, I hate to see the kids, pressure? you know, the college ones. Because you know this is for their student loans. So yeah. when they leave with like $18, I'd be like, yeah, <laughs> you're going to have to pay the whole loan, buddy. It's what is it rap- called? College week? Yeah, when it's college week, I'll be like, "Oh, they out there for these student loans. They trying to pay, play these, pay these dorm fees off." <laughs> and fam be like, "Oh, you know, Cindy, uh, we're really sad that you left with eighteen dollars. Your dorm fees are going to be hell of expensive because you go to like, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying." But, but nice. you get this microwave, <laughs> exactly. But you know, you was a lovely parting gift of, and uh, here's know. twenty dollars worth of top ramen. Uh, go ahead and live out your thirty years of debt. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, Trebek beating cancer. One of the maze will be calling you, Sally or Fanny. Pick one. It's <laughs> one of the maze. <laughs> and also, on a on a darker note, uh, rest in peace to Frank Lucas. Yes, no doubt. Uh, yes. American gangster. Uh, Blue Magic. I, I can honestly say that cat. Uh, I watched a documentary on him, mm-hmm. and he was just as gangster as as he wanted to be. He was like, Ooh, I, he, he was he was literally don't like, say it, Rich. don't say it. As gangster as he was when he snitched. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna say yeah. Ooh. Frank didn't Frank didn't even like trip off of doing it. He like, yeah, such and such. Like the movie is great. It's based on his life, but it's not accurate. It's not well, accurate. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not and accurate. as much as any. Yeah. yeah, you know. But then you watch the documentary, you be like this, yo, his brothers I think even his wife at the time was dealing too. Well, he that's led, he led a very interesting. My takeaway was, um, it, Frank Lucas is survived by his wife of more than forty years, nice. former Puerto Rican beauty queen, yep. Juliana Ferrey. Ferrey. Mm-hmm. Okay. So my 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 initial thought is that I'm just waiting. The, the clock is ticking for for your boy Kodak Black to to uh, tweet some inappropriate <laughs> shit to her. I'm about getting that Frank Lucas's wife. Yeah, he's probably 
Yeah, don't do that. God, Kodak God. Black is horrible. I my can I bash Kodak Black for a minute? And you know, go ahead, man. You got you got one full minute. Go. Fuck him. <laughs> All right. Time. Dude, fuck that motherfucker. You I'll get two shits. It, like, you know, I'm like, yo, know, if he ever, like, if he saw me in the street, like, yo, I heard you was talking shit. I'm like, this, and? Well, I mean, he did go head up with sticky fingers. Are you, are that you, sticky like, fingers is four feet high. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga played Blade and sucked at it. Did he play Blade? That nigga had, ugh, shit. Wait, was Sticky Fingers a Sticky Fingers, th- there was a show. I shit you not. There was a show, Blade was an actual series for a hot second. And Sticky Fingers played Blade. Really? And I was like, and I must have like, I was like this. Sticky Fingers is as tall as my Timberland boot. What? What? Look, look, <laughs> I shit y'all not. I still don't. So it wasn't the dude from Moesha. I, not Fred, not Fredro Star. No. Okay, because they're all the same person to me still. Fredro and Sticky. <laughs> I don't know which one is which. Like I'm like, okay, so that's is, is it really scary? I actually it's, met it's, uh, Fredro once. Fredro's okay, actually so yeah. a better. Acting as I don't know if that mean anything, but he's better acting than Sticky. Yeah, well. And why did Fred real quick? Fredro Star battled Keith Murray like a couple of years I back. I remember that. Yeah, and Fredro won. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's interesting. Like just a couple of years ago. Like it wasn't that like, long ago. Yeah. Not, it wasn't that long. Uh, like three or four years ago. Yeah. And I was looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, fellas, this. fellas, come on. <laughs> what like, are we doing now? Well, we're all battle. come on. We're like, all over here. That's just hilarious. That's some. That's an old head energy battle, that, though. That is. That is, that is old, head, old energy. head energy battle. Yeah. But I'm like this. Why all it's of a like sudden? They, yeah, they, they were they were battling for a chair chairlift. I don't even, system. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even watch. Um, I can't even watch battles. I, I never really could. Even like the good ones back when I was I was young and somebody was battling. You know, you there's a the high ratio now? of cringeworthy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, moments. But have you seen well, a battle? Since na- there's no more beat. Yeah, but have you seen the battles nowadays? Though? Yeah, there's no beats. They're, oh, the oh, acapella joints. Yeah, yeah they yeah, are no. crazy. They are like, I don't know, what's the best way to describe them. Like, um, like poetry sessions. Like, that's why your father didn't love you. Oh yeah, yeah, that dude. Uh, uh, what was it? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I'll dude. be your daddy because you know this. Gonna keep it true. Everybody, like, oh, I'm like this. Was that the Nick Cannon thing? No, no, no. it was. It's, a, it's, a, it's an MC. He he battled yeah. this dude, and he was like a. Uh, Basically broke down how his father was a deadbeat father, and yeah. you know. But I'm there for you. Yeah, it was and like I'm a, like, it was, it was a damn. What kind of battle is this? Like, I don't. It was demeaning. Clearly. Yeah, it was a it was the weirdest battles, but that's been going on forever. Yo. What was it? Pusha T's son battling Drake's son or something? Wow! Wow! <laughs> boom! Boom! <laughs> Two piece <laughs> to Drake. Drake, hold the biscuit. Drake actually might get a secondary out here tripping, but I'm kind of not mad though. Mm. I mean, super fan, right? Hey man, get hype! Yeah, do it. He went to they went, him and Draymond well, Green went to dinner the next day. What's the real deal with the the E forty <laughs> thing? Is that is that were they just messing was, around? Yeah, or? I think they were just messing around because yeah. it, it didn't go far enough. So I assumed it wasn't real. Why but yeah, no, him and him and Draymond Green actually no, that's a real thing. Why, it was why reported you that they went to dinner. Why you missed Draymond just Green? Why don't okay? First of all, remember what I told you about the show because we had that discussion. <laughs> now, second of all, oh. Draymond Green. <laughs> uh, let me say this about Draymond Green. All right. I respect him as a basketball player. I respect him, you know, as a uh, somewhat. I, I respect him as a person, but I think he made a statement recently about um, like everybody's hating on Golden State, like this, like quote unquote, the states are hating on Golden State. Draymond, if you are listening, if you are, great, but you're not gonna like this. Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody. Nobody's, I hate, nobody, nobody's hating on Golden State. It's just it's nice. It's nice right now in the finals, some competition. That's it. It's competitive, baby. You know but how I go. You know that they don't want no competition because they recruited Kevin Durant to be a Oh. Yeah, Was that you, not supposed to? No, you wasn't, Trey. I think they're the least they're the most liked championship team. Uh, I guess the I guess the Chicago Bulls were. You know, I mean, yeah. just in, in history? Yeah, I feel like there there's hasn't been a, a championship team that people collectively have like liked each character on the team more. Like people love Steph Curry. Yeah, go to Steph. Like, and, go, and like, nobody really hates Clay Thompson. Nobody. Like, yeah, I mean nobody's people kind of like didn't like you know Dennis Rodman on the Bulls or maybe yeah. had some issue with Scottie Pippen, but I I don't think that that was a real thing. No, 
So no, so maybe between the, outside of the Bulls, they might be the most actual liked. I think so. Know, I think they, I think they are. Yeah, and I also think like back then there were a lot more heels in the in the league too. That, oh know, those teams yeah, were competing. The against. Celtics were the yeah biggest. Yeah, ones, I mean, know. and or the Pistons. Yep. Right. The Pistons. You know. Yeah, the Pistons. Had oh my God, Bill Lane Beer. Ah. Oh, dude. Yeah, Mahone. Golden State is a. They're 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 the the DC universe. Yes, they are. Yeah. <laughs> the shit. Bulls yeah. were the Marvel we'll, universe. We'll go. We'll go with that shit. Yeah, they are DC. <laughs> they're they're DC. Are. They are. They are. I, uh, we, they are. <laughs> with that, we are at time. This will be one of our short but, episodes. Oh, what's up? Draymond, we're not. Yeah, nobody's hating. Nobody, nobody hating on you. We just want to see a good good series. Nobody wants to see. But they don't want to see a good series, and that's the that's that's the thing about about the argument about current basketball, which I won't get into because, you know, I get it. But I want to. That's the that's part of the argument, right? Like yeah. it's supposed it, to be competitive. It's supposed to be competitive, but we're we're making all these moves. And not we, but the players are making all these moves to make to almost guarantee themselves wins. And people are comparing it to basketball in days past where maybe you drafted Magic Johnson or you drafted Kobe Bryant or whatever but those were those were draft picks they could have gone one way or the other the fact that they turned out great is awesome you know what i'm saying right. but to to basically put together your own team at the dinner table you know what i'm saying right and then and then show up and say this is still a competitive thing i i i thought that this fine i thought that this playoffs was great and i'm not i'm not arguing that at all i think that right. the league ultimately catches up to that super team yeah, because the, you know, the super team has to pay these super players, and their bench gets weaker, and blah 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 blah. Right. But I still don't think that it can be fairly argued that this is a, a a highly competitive generation that really wants to dominate the sport. Like I think that they want to go down in history as champions, but not necessarily compete at the highest level for championships. I think yeah, kind of with that yeah, I can go with that. I mean, think about it like all the superstars quote unquote like rookies, right? Like nobody knew Kobe Bryant's gonna be like that. Nobody knew. Everybody had a feeling Shaq, okay. Sure. Shaq. Sure. There there are certain players, yeah. Yeah, like Magic Magic people yeah. knew coming out Magic. Right. Or assumed strongly assumed that he'd be great. Right. Like but nobody but this one cat now from um in Toronto, I cannot pronounce his name. This Siakam? Is, yeah. Him? This is like his third year in the league. Yeah. And I don't know what pick he was, but he's balling. Yep. Hard, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So, the draft is like you never, you never know. Well, and, and, and trying to get a super team, like I remember, hell, even um, last year, LeBron James said that Golden State had a super team. Golden State didn't have a super team the year the, that they, the, they, the year 2015. No, 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 uh, last year. Yeah, they had a super team last year. I mean, okay, wait, not okay before Durant. Oh, well, so yeah, okay. 2015, the first champion. That think, first think, championship first was champion. amazing. Yeah. That was great. I, I loved the first it. one, and then uh, I don't know. Yeah, after you that, know, it I just kind of like, went downhill to me. Right. Yeah. It I sort mean, of like jumped the shark. Yeah. Like this exactly. part of the show. So yeah, yeah, this will be uh, yeah, yeah, we this will be yeah. the <laughs> we're going to <ahead> and <laughs> yeah, shut it down going, at this part, y'all. Kevin's like on his phone, like just you know checking the news. So we're gonna go ahead and knock it out. So thank y'all for listening. You are live with Rap Sucks Radio. Yes, sir. I'm your folks, Trek Life. That's your fam, Kev Sakota. Mr. Show. <laughs> Ain't you supposed to say ah, something? Who, ah, ah, me? When I say it's your fam, Kev Sakota. Oh, you know what? I, I I jumped the gun there. My name I is Shrek Light. Yes. That's your fam, Kev Sakota. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> and your whole boy, Mr. Shug in the building. Word. What up? Yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Catch us at RapSucksRadio.com, man. Y'all have a good one. We Peace. need to use the sync button. <laughs>